when um, I arrived at Stirling in 2010, our archival collection was kept in a storeroom and it was overflowing. It was quite well catalogued, but it was overflowing. Uh, and uh, with the arrival of Table College, uh, we needed to use that room, which was part of the library again for the collection. And so we've had to put the archival collection in inadequate storage facilities in a shipping container while seeking to rebuild an archival centre. That was the driving piece in the whole project, was to catalogue and promote the story of who we are as a movement so that we can preserve it for the future, but also that, so that we can centre the college, but the movement on the story of our founders and, and let the deeper story of us as a movement um, recontextualise itself in the 21st century and you know, centuries beyond. We had support for the project from many different individuals and quite uh, clear provisions from God in the um, early stages when we were just confidentially as a board starting to imagine the project. The key individuals would contribute significant sums of money, 40,000, 10,000, uh, in one case 100,000. There were some significant people who care about telling the story of our movement and how it might be imagined in the future who quickly came on board. Um, and so that process went on for two or three years uh, until um, the Hindmarsh Church of Christ Trust in Adelaide came on board by pledging half a million dollars which significantly boosted the project. I would hate to underestimate though or un not record uh, the contribution of so many individuals. Um, for every gift of five or ten dollars or fifty or two hundred and fifty dollars we know that there have been supporters and prayerful partners in the journey and and as a board we have been very keen to measure the uh, the breadth of, of the giving and as a result we've um, seen approximately uh, about $900,000 that's been given uh, over the project and so it's probably a 1.1 million dollar project but to be that 85 percent towards the um, the finish line as we just near completion uh, is, is just a wonderful uh, a wonderful story of a project capturing people's vision. So what we've tried to do is we've tried to imagine an, an addition to the excellent facilities already here at Mulgrave that can take us in a couple of dimensions. Uh, firstly, we've wanted to preserve the, the artefacts that we have. We hold a very important collection, some are very early documents, not only of our movement, but of contextualised Christianity in Australia. Uh, and so. Uh, we've tried to build facilities that will preserve uh, those documents uh, for as long as we can. The second thing we've tried to do is then place them uh, in a setting where not just ministry students or researchers, but everyone in our movement can have access to them, catalogued and preserved and linked with other collections in Australia and around the world, which is part of the project, but then also putting it online. And so one of the intentions we hope in the next couple of years is to get a team of volunteers who can give some time to scan and catalogue and put all of, starting with the most important documents online so that uh, distance is no hindrance to access. Um, the third thing we've done uh, as, as we're seeking to build this project is to then uh, draw interested individuals into the whole process, some to do research, some to publish, some to contextualise what it means for mission in the 21st century. It depends on people's gifts and passions, uh, but our, our intention in all of that is that we stay a very formed people as Church of Christ, uh, as, 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 as th this particular unique people who we are um, and how we can live out that story meaningfully and relevantly in the 21st century.